All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode 12 of John and Eric's Epic Adventures into Skyrim. As you can see, we're, we're back here now. We have our friend Gunding up from Winterhold. We got our camera working again, which is good. That was definitely something that basically the game just had to be reloaded and now it's all working fine, so that's good. But before it was slightly terrifying, so because we didn't really know what was wrong. In this episode, uh, so, so I guess I should say offline what I did is I managed to sell all of the armor and weapons that we had before. We are now up to 51,000 gold. So that is pretty freaking cool. We still have a couple of other potions and stuff we can sell here. We're probably going to grab all of our frenzy poisons and try and sell them. Um, there, chat says that my beard fits fits the game theme. Thank you very much. It uh, well, it matches the beards of, that uh, John, Eric, and I, right? So I guess we'll here. Let me remove my uh, my helmet, right? So it's it's true. We all have similar beard styles. It's nice, but and. Anyway, let's see. So we have on our Amulet of Vivella. I believe our speech level is like 130. We could probably take a bath and get that a little bit higher, but it's fine. What we're going to be doing today is... Let's see. Um, we're going to be taking him back up to Whistling Mine up here. And then dealing with kind of all the quests that we have up here. I don't think we have anything on the way back there. What we might do is take the carriage up to Winterhold and then just ride south. That'll be a little bit safer than having to take our horse all the way up there, because we because Gundan can die. Like, he can literally die. In the beginning of our episode here, we're going to be collecting this bounty, and originally we were going to collect it at the same time that we collected the bounty for dropping him off, but we're going to be in Whiterun for a little bit, so we'll probably just drop it off right at the beginning. Um, let's see. We're not going to do anything else super dangerous right now. One of the things that we realized was that we are really close to level 100 smithing. We're level 89, halfway to level 90, right? And then we can't even get any more training. And we have enough Dwemer ingots and ebony ingots here. So we have 60, or, uh, yeah, Dwarven and about 30 ebony that we can most likely hit level 100. So we're just gonna do that right before we leave town and then kind of see all the different things we can make. Oh my God, Gunding, we can't, yeah, we can't walk through him. We can walk through like or around Eric, but not through him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around, we're gonna sell some of these potions, excuse me, poisons. We're gonna get some training, which will allow us to level up to level 45. We'll probably immediately get some more training and we are going to most definitely max out our two-handed, our ability to train two-handed. So we'll probably be throwing it into, I have no idea, maybe um, alchemy, right? Maybe, I, I have no idea, maybe restoration. Um, definitely not smithing, because we'll probably be able to hit 100 by ourselves. So we'll, we'll see what we throw the training levels into. So we're, we're gonna go and do that right now. We'll sell some stuff and then we'll get some training. All right, there he is. Good to see you. We kill the giant. Excellent. You've done us a great nice. service. Here is your reward. Thousand gold. And we'll run over here and quickly Divine. sell Take a look. some potions. Oh my god, he has like 6,000 gold, right? Excellent. So we'll do... Look at that. He, he has like almost exactly enough gold for us to sell nine of them. That is perfect. You take care of yourself now. Excellent. So here, we'll uh, sprint our way over to getting some two-handed training. That's what we'll do. And we'll, I mean, we'll wander around a little bit later to get rid of the last of these potions. Let me see if, I, I think I can make it from here. Ready? What? No! Woohoo! <laughs> um, let's see. We want heavy armor training, so I think we want is it Farkas? Some people don't think I'm smart. No, it's Those we want Vilkas. Fist, but you, I don't and like sometimes it. Vilkas is just like missing in action. So we'll look for him, but I don't know if we'll be able to find him. 
that momentum carrying you through the air like that, it's freaking hilarious. Oh, 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 oops. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I got excited. See, Vilkis. I know our history almost. All right, all right. So we should be able to do three more training levels, which we'll do right now. One, two, three. Ow. Can he train us anymore? No, he can't. That's it, right? And it should pop up right up there. I can't learn anything more from him. <laughs> and we are really close to a level. So I, we can get block training or we can get archery training right here. That's kind of a tough one, right? Oh, I guess we get a quick save. Block or marksman. I feel like block would be better just in general, but no, we, we don't have a shield. Power bashing with your shield will sometimes knock your opponent over. Eh. Maybe it is better to do marksman then. And what's this next perk? Level 45, 50% expertise from ammunition, so it hits twice as hard. And then you can run with bows. Um, Zoom in. What about these? Time slows while zooming. Reduced weight penalties. Yeah. I think we'll do block because we don't use our bow all that much. I'm still trying to figure I can. It might save your life. So there we go. Two of those levels. And now we can do a full level up. Nice. Put it into health because we're a tank. And let's see. We'll save our perk points for a little bit more. If the circle vouches, I can. And it I might think we'll do the rest with block, right? So there we go. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Become Neo from the Matrix with the zooming. I mean, maybe, but we. I think when your block level goes up, it reduces the damage that you take. So that's something to keep in mind, right? I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and it looks like our... What is it? The Blessing of Arcade is about to run out, so we're going to go get that. We're going to get some of our other buffs again like that, and then we're going to sell the last of our Frenzy Poisons, and then what we'll do is we'll start smithing. And then we should be all set to head up. So we're gonna sell our poisons here. How's it going? She Looking gives us a good deal. Yourself or deal. Forty-two hundred gold. Nice. Anything we can disenchant? Well, what are those? <gasps> Look, we can get this enchantment. It for sixty-six gold. That's perfect. Excellent. All right. We'll sell a couple of these, right? Oh, look at that. We can... Let, yeah, screw it. Let's just sell the last. Well, are there any, like, ingots we can buy from her, right? We'll, we'll buy uh, two silver. I think that's perfect. And this should allow us to sell the last of these. And uh, look at that. Perfect. Good luck out there. So we traded the last one for a little bit of extra silver. Oh, oh, dang it. No, let's go back outside. We have to check our mail. We have to check our mail. Did y'all remember that we got a letter? We just got a letter. Yes, that was a Blue's Clues reference. Let's check our mail. We received a mysterious note, right? So we definitely got to take a look at this. Mysterious note says, the 13th of Frostfall, and then there's a bunch of locations. Ooh. But where? And today is the 10th of Frostfall. Hmm. How very interesting. We'll have to investigate that later. As like a meta game response, I have absolutely no idea what that is. So we'll, we will have to investigate it a little bit later. Now let's see. So we're down here and we're gonna use up the last of our like stuff down here. Um, we'll take... Hmm. We'll take all of these, right, and a fragment of bone. I guess we'll take all the fur plate and hide lace, all the dwarven and ebony, all the iron and the steel, 
We're gonna need the quicksilver for when we use the ebony, because that's kind of like incorporated. All the leather and that. And I don't know if we can actually use any of the pelts. I mean, I don't, I can, I can grab a bunch, but like, I don't think it's gonna be all that useful, right? The other thing we're gonna need is our blacksmithing kit here. So, smithing, our fire resist boots, right? Fortify smithing, fortify smithing. Yep, four pieces, okay. So now we'll switch over. Oh, right, we have to break these down. So let me do that before I forget. So I was like, what the heck are those? Right, fortify lock picking. Very happy to learn those. Only rank one, though. So there's higher ranks. Interesting. Anyway, so we have that, the blacksmith shoes, the gloves, and then the ring. Right? And that should be it. Oh, and then the uh, the necklace. So there's five items, right? Because the, the boots don't actually do anything, but, you know, if you're going to be a blacksmith, you might as well dress the part, so. And wear a mask. <laughs> Excellent. So what we'll do, we... One of... Oh my god, I just got, like, pushed. One of the things we can do is take this wood eh, and kind of go over here and use it to turn some of our what is it Th that iron into um steel because i don't think we're really gonna need wood for anything right so it's always good to have extra steel and then what we'll do is use the shift key and open up oh my goodness Okay, the smith's kit. Come on. There we go. So what do we got? Right, let's start with the dwarf. Um, actually, you know what? We... Where's the um, horse armor? Right? I don't see it. Why? Oops. Oh, you know why? Because I'm not searching in all items. There it is. Let's take a look at making some ebony horse armor, because this gives a crap load of XP, right? So it's two steel ingots, eight ebony ingots, 10 leather strips, six leather. I think we're gonna do this, right? We, we right now have dwarven, which is, you know, it's good, right? It's 350. But 550 sounds a lot better. And then, like, one thing it just kind of that I realized is that you can actually hone your horse's armor. So we're going to do that, too. So we're going to start by crafting this. Look, look at our smithing level. It's like 125. Oh, my God. So we got a level up out of that. Now it's level 90. Excellent. Um, let's do the Dwemer stuff. Right? I think we might do a bunch of swords. Like like two-handed swords. Because then we can hone them. Right? So it takes one to hone and three to make. So that's combined four. Which means we can make 15 swords and have zero Dwemer ingots left over. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's 15. I don't know what our level is now, but we're gonna use this. Oh, we're not gonna worry about that. Um, all right, so we'll forge some of these up, right? Look, 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 look how fast our level's rising. Honing our skill as much as we're honing our sword. God, good lord, we're already at... Oh my god, we're already at level 96! Is that our actual level? Yeah. 97. 98! Are we gonna get it just from, like, using these? 99! And I... Th 
Yeah, we got a total level too. Nice. And there it is. Smithing level 100. Right? Very nice, very nice. Now I have 13, a carry weight of 1300 things in my inventory. Eh. So let's see. Oh, we have to put in perks, right? Uh, well, first we have to level up. We already did all of our training, so we'll put that into health. And we have three perks. Now, smithing. First thing we'll do is unlock draconic smithing so we can start getting like dragon armor and stuff. Ooh, oh, this gets... Ah. Uh, we have a couple of things we have to unlock. I did a little bit of like testing before this. So one of them is this, right? We can't forget about this perk. Tempering all materials 50% more effectively. So let's unlock that, right? Heck yes. We are also gonna do uh, dragon smithing and I'll show you why in just a moment. And we could do daedric smithing, which allows us to hone Eric's um, Dawnbreaker sword, but I actually, cause, and I, and I did, when I did a little bit of testing, cause I wanted to make sure there was nothing weird that happened. Turns out you actually can't, uh, enchant that or, or like hone it because we need to unlock arcane craftsmanship before we do that. Because the other arcane equipment, I think qualifies in the ability to hone his sword which is a massive pain in the butt. So your hammer molds the metaphysical and your creations hum with magic, excuse me. Um, also having elemental ammunition will just be very nice because we can go out of our way and craft like ebony arrows and stuff and then, and then enchant them. I think you need like frost salts and some other weird stuff like that, like elemental salts to do that. We're not gonna put a perk into that yet. Instead, good lord, our smithing level is like 136. That's ridiculous. Instead, we're gonna look at... Oh my god. Oh, oh, the... oh, dragon stuff. So you can actually make dragon plate horse armor, but it requires eight dragon bones. And that would that's literally all of our dragon bones right? We're not, no, we're not going to do that, right? Like Ebony is 550, I think, and this is 600. So it's like, this is one of those extra things you do when like, you don't know what to spend your, your money on. So I spent a lot of time trying to decide what we were going to craft, like out, out of all of this. And I actually came up with the most important item here is the dragon bone hunting knife. And that's probably not what you were expecting, but let me explain why. So just to read the description, the dragon bone hunting knife is a hunting knife with a, that is superior at skinning, harvesting, and butchering a carcass. So the reason this is so important is because our skinning like in, and butchering is what allows us to get more dragon bones and more scales. So if you make this, every time we skin a dragon, it, it basically compounds upon itself, which is why it's the most important thing to create. Luckily, I grabbed that bone fragment. So that is the first thing we're gonna make right there. Now, what do we make? Duh. Well, the biggest problem that we have is that none of, we, we can craft these, but then we have to hone them, and then we have to enchant them. So, not having enchantments on the stuff, like, like it's, it's great to have the extra armor rating, but it's really the enchantments that make, you know, the value in what we have. And so, we have seven dragon bones left. This requires three, and then I can hone it with one, you know, with, with one bone, so it'll be four. The other one we have, um, I, I'd like to hone the um, the knife just because it's nice to have like an, an emergency dagger weapon. That's why I like to do that. We could make Eric a new shield. That requires four. 
That'd be kind of cool, right? So that would use five, but then we'd only have one dragon bone left. Uh, there's there's a bunch of this other stuff down here, but like we can make light armor too. This is all uh, evasion, like dragon scale stuff. But where's Why isn't it showing, like, the other body parts, or body plates and stuff? It's kind of weird. Are we missing something? Like... Oh. Huh. I don't know, maybe it's silver or some other item that I'm just not aware of. Here's a, Yeah, here's all the dragon scale, and it's only hoods. I don't see any of, like, the dragon scale clothing stuff. <sighs> that is very strange and confusing to me. Um, I don't know. Well, we're not planning on crafting any light armor anyway, so that helps a little bit. We could... Oh, we could do bows! Ah! They're really expensive, though. And we'd have to enchant them. So, look, look at this crossbow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And here's the, uh, where is it? Oh, that's the dwarven dagger. Is there a dragon bone dagger? Yeah, there it is. Fancy. How does it compare with the hunting knife? Oh, we don't, it's not showing it anymore because we don't have the materials, so. Ebony male replicas, right? So there's a bunch of other things, but we're not gonna bother to craft these because we don't have to, anymore, right? Um, how many lockpicks do we have? That's a reasonable question, right? Don't know fashion. It's true. It's it's really true. I think we are gonna craft some. What is word? Uh, lockpicks. Because. We have 50 of them, and I'd be... I mean, they're so light, and they're literally made out of iron. So having... I think we're going to get, like, 100, right? What are we at? Probably 75 right now. Always good to have iron, right? Yeah, we're, so we're above 100 now, because once we start trying to do, like, master level or expert, I'm just gonna... You're <laughs> gonna go through those really fast, trust me. And we can always sell the extras. So I think what we'll do is we won't craft any of it, right? I know that's a little anticlimactic, but um, we'll get... We'll deposit all but one of the bones. Everybody's like, oh... Nope, we aren't going to use any of these right now. Anything else we have to drop off? Not really. We'll use this. It almost seems like a waste, though, to use one for this. But once I do it, I'm never going to have to do it again, so I'm going to do it anyway. So there we go. This is our emergency hunting knife weapon. Da -da -da. Now, let's see. So I'm pleased with that. What we'll do is we're now gonna wiggle our way upstairs. We'll drop off all of the great swords that we created. Now, I have a better idea. I'm gonna drop off all the great swords right here. Why? Because we can enchant these and get enchanting XP. And I mean, it, your enchanting level does go up a little bit with every level that you have, so we might as well enchant them later, right? We'll sell our orcish hunting knife eventually. And I think that's it, right? Oh, I'll drop off, yeah, I'll drop off all of my uh, smithing gear, and then we're gonna drop off, what's his name? Gunding, yeah, we'll drop off Gunding. So we'll do that now. And I almost forgot, we get to put on our horse armor. So here's our dwarven, uh, dwarven armor. And, and I really like the look of this. Like, I think this armor looks fantastic. It is really well designed. I think it's cool. However, 
We are going to now upgrade to this. Oh, so very sexy. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And we'll sell our old armor when we get into Winterhold. Who's this guy? Are we here? I think we're not really here, but... All right, that works. I'm ever so grateful. Please give my regard to the rest of the companions. Sure. Awesome. Yeah, I guess as long as you get him like close enough, right? It just feels. Whoa, right my goodness! Having this new life as an adventurer. Here, I I would like to really quickly make sure that like he isn't about to get murdered as he rounds this corner, because you know that that sometimes happens. But. There's usually, like, a guard patrolling around here, so... Yeah, he looks fine. Who is... Oh, what? Hey! Know if there's anything else you need. Who's this? What's going on here? No! Oh my god, is that a freaking Spriggan? What in the hell? Good lord. Sorry about your friend. What's a Spriggan doing out here? is this? Yeah, it's a Spriggan. That is so random. Two taproots, though. Oh, and there was a wolf, too, just to kind of... We'll take their gold and anything, anything slightly valuable they might have had. But, uh, you okay, random person? Need something? To save this person's life. Take a look. Which, you know, you take the wins when you can get them. So, small animal bones. Just 20 gold. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's ride back over to the college and we'll work on some of those quests. All right, we're, <laughs> we're here. Dragons are like cats at 5 a.m. So let's see here. We, uh... Miscellaneous quests, right? Um... Revealing the Unseen? No. There's there's a couple. A couple, um... Things that we need to turn in here. So let's... Let me think, right? We need to... There's three of them. We have to talk to Jizargo. We have to return Shadow's Insights. And we have a key to the like upstairs, right? So the uh, the upper library. So we're gonna go to the library right now, and I'm gonna show you like what that is. I think we'll start with the library because it's more interesting. No, we'll start with turning in Chalador's insights because he's right here. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Chalador's work. Excellent. I'll start translating it. Shouldn't take me more than a day or two. Nice. Um, cool. I can ask him if, if he's translated it yet, but... Oh yeah, he's an orc, right? Are all the orc strongholds guarded? Because we were looking for the Forge Master's fingers. The strongholds keep to themselves. Skyrim hasn't always been kind to the orcs. For an outsider like you to be accepted, an orc would have to make you blood kin and send word to the chiefs. Um, can you make me blood kin? Trust like that is not freely given. Fair enough. Uh, any other Arcanium business to assist with? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Danger's my middle name. John... Danger Righteous. John Danger the Righteous. What, what are the details? All right. I wrote down the last place I'd heard about. Don't get killed. Souls black and white in Haldir's Cairn. Okay. Fight well. Seems easy enough. So that was thing number one. Thing number two is... 
So maybe it's further upstairs? Come on, I have to find it. Is it up here? Yes, it is up here. So we were given the key. Oh, okay, I didn't pick up the key yet. Never mind. So let's go pick up the key for that. So, the private collection access, um, as in, as somebody of the college, you have the privilege of accessing the private collection. These books are precious, you may read them, but they are not to be taken from their places. All the books that you have recovered for me can be found here. Cool. Oh, cool, so every time... Every time we, re we we recover a rare book, we get to read it. That's really cool. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh yeah, look, there's like they're chained. Look, they're they're literally even chained up here. And this is where they can all go. Oh, this is so cool. Pig children. And like, we can steal it by like breaking the chain, but... Some of these might be skill books. Or, or I don't think so, right? This one's an enchanting book. It says we can take it, but... This is a speech book? Look at that. Look at that. Let's run around here a little bit, right? Maybe we'll find uh, a bunch of other, like, speech level ups. Right? This is freaking amazing. <gasps> oh, these are super rare. An Accounting of the Scrolls. That's a pretty good book. Um, and yeah, you can see that there's some, like, missing. RK the Enemy. I steal that one. Oh, this is a sneak book. What, what is it? Bible of the Deep Ones? That's a rare book. I know that's a rare book. Oh, this is so cool. Corpse Preparation? Apparently I've read the third one. Never heard of these. Famed Artifacts. So cool. <laughs> Just... Chat's like, fall, John the Righteous' fall from grace, stealing books. Origin of the Mages Guild, Night Mother. Ooh. Yeah, some of these books are definitely not in vanilla Skyrim. They're added. Um, and then, oh my, oh look! This is an alchemy book. I really think that you should get the level as you turn to the last page, so. Oh, this is so cool. All right, come on, Eric. Gotta lock it up. All right. I'm just pretending that because we have the key, we can lock it up. Can we jump down from there? No, that will kill us. We should actually put on a, a healing aura, right? So let's go see if we can't find Zargo and turn in his quest and tell him that his uh, magic scrolls that he created caused you to explode, which is not very conducive to your health. Sargo. He's in the midden? No, are they still down there? Oh no. I don't know if they know how to path find out of here. Remember we had a fight down here and they all got like... Yeah, crap. All right, oh no. Let me see, well, let me let me start with you, right? I trust that you'll inform me as... So usually that's supposed to bring them out with you, but it didn't. So... So act it's actually... Um, Move to player? There he is. We did it. All right, all right, Jazargo. Jazargo has heard of the staff of Magnus. 
Once you are done with it, perhaps you will allow Jazargo to borrow it. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I tested and your scrolls. Were they magnificent? Um. Let's see. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to kill me. No, they were supposed. Were they supposed to explode? Because they were exploding. Uh, no. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. But Jazargo is pleased to see that you are here and not in pieces. You are a good friend to have done this. Jezargo will not forget it. You're happy to help. Good luck out there. Yeah. Alright. So... Oh, do it. Do it, Eric. Do it. Cast the magic. Yeah! Magic Eric. Excellent. So we... We managed to get everybody no longer stuck in the midden. Right, I was I was making clones of them, and then I uh, realized that you you just uh, move to player is the command. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. But we we cleaned up, so the game's functioning normally again. And oh, oops, I didn't want to do that. That's we we forgot about this. This guy sent us a note. I don't think anyone here truly understands how useful my work will be. Like, this guy literally sent us a note in the mail, right? Is there any college business I can assist with? You mean the official sort of business? Hmm. Well, no. No, not really. But I can't help but notice that you're doing quite well for yourself. Rising through the ranks and all. It may not be official, but there is a, a project I've been working on. I wonder if perhaps you could assist with it. Okay. Um... Can you tell me more about this project of yours? Uh, yes. Um, no, no, I, I don't think so. Not at this point. It's just that, well, I'm not even really sure it's going to amount to anything just yet. All theoretical right now, you understand. But the implications are quite intriguing, I think. I simply need some experimental results to confirm my suspicions. Just, just bring me some Dwimmer cogs. I need to examine them for the methods used in forging them. Ten of them should be enough for me to get a better understanding Ten? of how they were crafted. That's all I need, all right? Okay. Ten Dwemer Cogs. That's a weird request, but, you know, not the most ridiculous. Should be able to find those pretty easily. Yeah, right about, right about here is probably good. No, 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 let's do right by the doorway. Right, right here. Or, uh, no, 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 ah! No, right in front of the statue. Right, right here. Facing this way. And what we're gonna do is take our scroll of mark and recall, which weaves an extra planar mark while facing down on the ground. Subsequent castings will then be recalling the caster to the mark and swap the mark to the caster's old location. There we go, right? So we're gonna, oh my God, how do we? Okay, maybe fine. We won't do it right there because they obviously seem very keen on taking that location. But we're gonna put this right here, right? I think this is a perfect location because it costs a lot of money to get up here. So. Oh, cool. We even got a conjuration level up out of it. Nice. Um, I don't remember what our conjuration level was before. Wasn't our conjuration level like zero? So we just got six conjuration levels from casting a scroll. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, oh my goodness, look Look how beautiful this is. So we'll run in, we'll get our blessing. Hopefully she's still awake. I think they are. Yes. Excellent. We're back and we're awesome. Please bless us. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. We help them. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the blessings of Mara with you, so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. 
Yay, Agent of Mara, and we got a uh, an achievement apparently. Take care of yourself. Cool. So what that does, right? Agent of Mara. Let me see if I can find it. Agent of Mara increases magic resistance by five percent. Hell yes, right? I don't know if we can look up what our uh, general like base. I think it's under Requiem. It's definitely not Wildlander. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. But we, I think what we're gonna do is, it's 10 p.m. We're gonna go set up our tent because we might be able to get some levels out of um, survival, right? I think we have some survival perks that are enabled. So we're gonna get a, um, a tent set up and then we'll get some sleep. All right, and here we are. We're right outside the entrance to Whiterun, right? We managed to sell our old horse armor for about 1,500 gold over to the Khajiit caravan that's sitting over there. And we built an extra nice fire. We're gonna very quickly just go through and see what perk skills we can unlock, right? So, uh, looks like there's no perks for that. I'm pretty sure we have at least a few for the ability to, uh, no? Okay, we're at 80% then. Maybe we don't have any here, which, you know, is fine, but what else? Um, yeah, here we go. So we have one of these perks, Frost Ward. That's already maxed out. We can increase our base warmth. That looks like an option. Um, Freezing in frigid water no longer drains your stamina. That might be it, right? Um, increases the coverage of all worn equipment, so that's um, rain. And then this top one is inner flame. Once per day, kneel and enter a meditative state prevents your exposure from rising above 67%. Movement and getting hit cancels the effect. Uh, we, we don't really have a problem with freezing to death in the wilderness, so we're gonna make it so that we can swim in frigid water. And I think that is totally worth it. So it's 11 p.m. in game, and that is going to be our episode. So we managed to sell a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of training. We are level 100 in smithing, which means we are going to be able to enhance. It didn't even occur to me. Well, this, this has an armor rating of zero, so maybe we won't be able to do anything with this, but at the very least, we're gonna look into figuring out how to hone Eric's sword. He's tired, he's going to sleep, and I'm in real life, I'm gonna go to sleep right now too. So thank you very much for joining us tonight. Have a good night, everyone.